Hey guys, it's Punk Chef 41 and doing another video as you can see. Uh Chef will went through like videos from now until whenever, really, because season's starting up, uh and my life turns into pretty much I just to talk about football and yeah, it annoys the missus, but hey. Anyway, uh this is what I'm gonna talk about. Uh Petnik, who we signed I think he was a free agent when we signed him, the Slovenian International. Uh, two year contract and 26 is uh, is a the website says he's a versatile winger and he's also put him down as a striker now he can play winger striker and probably play that role behind say Chris O'Grady or Medina and Maguire the thing that I like about this signing to be fair Dave Jones and all the signings Dave Jones is either getting players that have got experience already or he's signing um, youth and like you said he's building and one thing that I don't think we've seen for a while at Wednesday is someone just come and build a squad actually properly build it from youth down and not buying in like players who are trying to get injured straight away and not play well and Typical example of that for Wednesday fans is Francis Francis Jeffers, <laughs> Francis Jeffers, and yeah, he might have been good in the day, but a caught with him, and we did not see what we were meant to see out of him. There's some players that can get forgiven for having the injuries. Uh, Saji for one can be because he got that goal against uh, United, and things like that it's it's nice to see we're building from youth and the development squad some of the players in that uh, me and our life we went into the stock big game club from around here and the uh, we signed him in our development squad I can't remember his name but he was like number 20 and he was amazing just played really well we signed, he, he played at PSG can't remember the name and I can't be yeah, asked to look it up right now. But once I find out about it and and there's a bits that the bits that, that are very positive about this signing of Pednik. He's I don't wanna say it because I know a lot of fans might not agree with me or whatever, but fuck it, it's my opinion. He could be the new Carboni in that sense. Because he's he's what he showed in the second half against Oldham, anyway, he was very, very good. First half, he was fucking crap. And uh, but up credit to Dave Jones for sticking sticking on with him and saying, "Come on, you can do this." And night out that puff for your manager. And when he got that yellow card for trying to get Chris O'Grady on, it was ridiculous it really was it's like come on we're trying to make a substitution to the break in play we can bring him on and the referee was just being mad. Uh yeah we didn't play well in that game first half but and neither did he but second half he did really well the way he controlled that ball and held it up to get it to Chris O'Grady he made some really good attacking plays which we not had for a while uh, Ben Marshall did it Antonio did it lines he can do it when he gets up forward but to have someone like that in our squad now is nice it's something that I don't think we're used to seeing but this is my just my thoughts on it guys and I think he's going to be a really good player and push on I think it's today now yeah, yeah push on today uh, for the derby game and let's see where we go from there uh, three points, definitely. I think we've got a chance. I'm saying Derby got stuffed by, uh, well, they didn't get stuffed, they, but they let a lot of goals in against Gunthorpe. I think maybe we should take some heart from that. Maybe, hopefully, put a video on to show them what they were like. Because, end of day, five goals is a lot to concede. And if the defence is that leaky, I think we could have some some fun with that but anyway I do another video video about the preview to the match and stuff later today uh, it'll be probably about 12 o'clock 1 o'clock by the time I get it up so 
and I'll do a review afterwards. And um, basically, what went to chop the tiger fell. I'm going to bed now. Uh, I've come knackered, like 12 in the morning. That was 12 in the morning, idiot. It's just gone 12, so I'm going to go to bed and get some sleep. Bye.